It's Tibu Tuesday time! Welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland. My name's Fiona and it's another Team of Tuesday time. Uh, this is part two of my collaboration video with Timu. I am a Timu affiliate and they have gifted me some money for the site. They've not actually given me money to spend. They've given me credits so that I could buy things on the Timu site to let you lovely people see just what kind of range they've got and the amazing prices. So this is part two of that. I will link part one for you if you've not seen it. And basically, I had so many things that it was going to be too long a video to do it all in one go. That is how good their quality and their value is. So let me get into it. We have got another bag here with something in it. It's a box. Box in the box. Um, oh, and I meant to say, I can't remember what I've ordered. So it's like Christmas. Every time I take something out, I'm like, oh, I forgot I ordered that. And I will put the prices on the screen for you. So I genuinely have got no idea what is in here. Let me open it. Oh. We have a pipette. Oh, I know what this could be. It is. I do a lot of resin crafts, as you may know. And I've been wanting to try to make my own moulds for a little while. So I thought I would take this opportunity to try the Timu silicon and basically rather than putting this inside a resin mold like you do with resin, this is to take imprints of other things so that you can turn like a charm that you've got or um, I got a couple of lovely Christmas coins from Timu a couple of hauls back and I want to try to make impressions of them to make my own sort of Christmas coins. So I thought I would get the silicon mix. I've not tried the Timu one and I haven't, I've not tried any. Um, and I've not heard any reviews, so I will definitely do a video reviewing this and trying to use it and see how it goes. So we've got a pipette, we've got part A and part B, a bit like resin, you need to mix them together um, before you pour them. I'm not sure if this foam is meant to be part of the kit or if it's just to hold everything in place. Oh, there's no instructions. There's no instructions. I just need to read the labels on the... I've not got my glasses on. I don't know if there are instructions there. If not, it'll be online, hopefully. <laughs> it gives you a mixing cup that's 100 mils and there's another pipette. So, yeah. It'll be interesting to see how this goes. I will, like I said, I'll experiment with it in a video to let you see. And that will just be gloves. Ooh, it's soft and squishy. Ooh, it looks like a mould or something. Ooh, I know what it is, I think. Right, wait till we open it. Wow, this is so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. <gasps> wow! This is... Christmas village mold. Look, it's lots of little houses. Um, there's oh six different houses, and they've all got like gifts sitting outside them. I think they're different. Maybe they're the same. Oh no, they are. They're some are different, some are similar. And again, I think they're meant to be like cake molds or chocolate molds. But these will be perfect for resin, I think. And it feels good quality. This is excellent for the price. I thought it was going to be tiny, to be honest. Um, oh, there are countless potential things I can do with that. Oh, my creative juices are flowing already just looking at it. <laughs> Yay! We have got another box. Please excuse any funny noises you hear. My dogs are playing right behind me. I've got no idea what this is. I have got... Oh, yeah! Ha-ha! Oh! Ah, right, okay. <laughs> oh, ah! This is actually a tree. So, it straightens out and it's got little fairy lights built into it. I have got a tree just now that I'm going to use at Christmas fairs for hanging Christmas decorations that I've made and things. But I thought this would be nice with having the, the lights actually built into it. 
and it's not a bad size, I don't think. I don't want to mess about with it too much. I'll put the picture in and that'll show you the size. Um, but it's not too bad. And I take it, it connects like that. And you can charge it uh, with, or have it on with the USB port. But there's also a compartment for batteries. So if I was taking that out to a Christmas fair and didn't have my laptop, you can put batteries in it instead. Yay! Again, I will try to put that on and get a video or photo of it before I edit this video so you can see what it looks like. But I'm hoping that's going to be nice. Um, the branches aren't overly strong, so it would need to be quite light decorations that I use it for, but that's fine. And I think it will be a good size for sitting on a tabletop. There we go. So there's no batteries in that, it's just powered by my computer, the USB. I will show you it without any lights on. It's a good height. I'll put the lights off. Oh, how pretty and cosy without the big lights on. That's so nice. Let's see what it's like with an ornament on it. That's my storm memorial that's got my old doggy's ashes in it. And it's quite heavy, which is why I put it on. And it's coping with it no bother. So I don't think weight will be an issue. I'll put the lights on the tree off and let you see. That's it with the lights off and again you can see the weight of the ornament isn't bothering it at all yay I like it good value for money we've got another bag what's in here oh I know what this is this is for in the first part of this haul I got a couple of diamond painting things and I said I've got something a wee bit different in mind for it and this is for the something different. This is basically double sided sticky tape so that you can make your own diamond paintings. I don't think that's all you can do with it but that's what I want it for. So basically you take that off, stick that to whatever and then this white bit will come off as well. So you can stick the diamonds that it will be clear like I've still got this one beside me from the other part of the hall. So when you take the film off, that bit there that's sticky, that is double-sided tape. Some of them it's glue, poured glue, but this is double-sided tape, I believe. So that is what I got these for, for making my own diamond paintings. And if you subscribe to my channel, you will get to see that. And this bag is the last thing for this haul. What could it be? What could it be? Is it cushions? No. Oh, it's storage. Right, so <laughs> it's going to be hard to show you like this, but basically it's got a zip. It's meant for under the bed. It's got a zip and it opens up and it's got <laughs> little compartments inside it. I'll put a photo on the screen. It'll be easier. And each compartment, I think it's meant for like baby's clothes, so you can have a compartment for vests and tops and trousers and tights and you know that sort of thing. So there's one, two, three, four, five, goodness me, there's five different sections in there um, and each section has got a see-through bit so you can see what bit it is that you're going into and it zips to keep everything fresh. Now my idea for that is not for baby clothes. Hopefully we won't need any of them in the near future because my oldest daughter's just turned on 19. Um, but I'm going to use it for any resin that I've made ready to go to a fair so that it keeps it nice and dust free and dog hair free as well. So hopefully that will do the trick. They've got some brilliant storage solutions on Timu, I have to say. I've got their underwear storage that I use to store my silicon moulds. So, yeah. Okay, that is everything from this collaboration haul. Uh, like I said, I will link part one for you if you've not already seen it. 
but I've tried to show you just a few different things that Timu do. It's not just Christmas things and it's not just moulds, which is what I seem to get a lot of. Um, but there's decoration things with the little tree, there's storage things, there, um, what else did I get? Oh yeah, the house mould, the double-sided tape for diamond painting, so they've got so many different options. Please remember that I have got a link, it's an affiliate link in the description. I don't get paid by Timu, however, when people use my link, I get extra points, which then means once I level up, they give me more credits to spend on the website so that I can show you lovely people the sort of things that they do. So please feel free, in fact, don't just feel free, please use the link if you can to download the app. And if you're brand new to Timu, I also have a discount code there as well for you to use. And that will get you about 50% off your order, your first order. And using my link means that you should hopefully get a bundle of coupons worth up to £100 as well. So let me know what you think of this haul in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please do hit the thumbs up button. If you love this kind of video and also crafty things and general vlogs, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in our next one. Thanks everyone. Bye.